Hey guys, how's it going? So for my literacy autobiography project, I talked about biking, mostly mountain biking, but also just every form of biking because I do a lot of different types. So for my video, I want to show you guys how to change a tire or a tube. This is like the most common thing that you do. It's like the most common at home maintenance stuff. However, it's kind of tricky. And I learned when I was working at a bike shop a couple summers ago. So yeah, here we go. So the tools you need to do this are a tire lever, and these come in pairs to take bigger, bulkier tires off. A wrench to get the bolts off on an older style road bike like we'll be working on today. And a screwdriver. And then of course, a pump to get the air in. And a good pump like this one will have a tire pressure gauge like that. And the tires will tell you how much air to put in them. As it does, I gotta find it, right there. So these tires take 70 PSI. So it's very easy when filling air because you can just look on there and line it right up. So the first thing you do is take the wrench and unloosen these bolts. Loosen these bolts. So I already did it, so we can put the wrench down and just lift the tire right off and the wheel right off. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is remove the tire and wheel from the bike. And you just take the wrench, and I already did, so it was very easy to come off. Now, what you do is you first start by taking your screwdriver and then just letting out all the air from the tire that's already in there. And for a fully inflated tire, that can take a while. All right, so now that that's done, put your screwdriver down. Now you take your tire lever. You just need one piece of it. And all you do, or not all you do, but you take this and just put it into the wheel like that. So see how I'm getting that lever right under the lip of the tire? and then you pull and push. Just like that. And then you go back to the other side. So you wanna just get it in and then push. So now that that's off, you can put your tire lever down. And then just take your tire off. Set this aside. So, obviously this tire and tube are perfectly fine, but it's very common. This is like, again, the most common maintenance you have to do because these things go all the time, especially on the road bikes, mostly on the road bikes. So what you do, assuming that this is a brand new tube or a brand new tire, is first you start by filling up the tube with enough air just to give it a little shape. So what you do is you come over, to your pump. And a pump like this has two different settings, or nozzles, I guess. One for Schrader valves and one for Presta valves. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it just says S and P. And this one, this is the more common type. This is called a Schrader valve. And what you do is you stick it in there, push this lever back, and then, again, just give it enough air to give it shape. You can always take out as you work. So it should just look like that, opposed to a limp piece of rubber. So now, the next step 
is to make sure that you line this, the valve, up with where on the tube it says to how uh, it says PSI or how much PSI it needs. So as you can see, or I hope you can see, it says right there 70 PSI and you want to line this up like that. If it's a tube or a tire that has a logo such as this, I'll give an example, obviously there's a lot of mud, this is my mountain bike, but you want to line, that is actually what a Schrader valve looks like, you want to line it up with a logo. It's just kind of what you do, I guess. So, you take that, stick it in, and then just put the tube, because this will help, this is why you added some of the air already. You just stick it in, making sure it sits nice and flush. Line that up. Now, next, get this back. This is your rim. And then all you do, this is kind of the trick part, you just first, to start, of course, put the valve into the hole. That can take some finagling, but once you get it, it's in. And then, start with one side of the bead. So this is called the bead, actually, I should explain. Where this sits, these like tough edges right here that are in the tire, that's called the bead. And that is what you want sitting flush within the rim. Just some terminology there. So on an older bike like this, it's usually pretty easy if you line it up right. A new road bike is the absolute worst to do this with. So once you get one side on, it should look like that. And then, now, the other side, you just start placing on as well. You can hear some snaps, that's a good sign. So when you get to this point, it's a sign that you're almost done, but this is also a very important part, and it's kind of the, the toughest part, because if that tube gets out, it can pinch against the rim and the tire, and you'll instantly go flat, and it's a pain in the butt, and you'll have to start all over again and buy another tube. So all you have to do is just make sure it's flush in there, and then just peel this part over. I kind of have to do it facing me. So also in this case, it's pretty clear I added too much air earlier. As I said, you can always take out. It's easier to add too much than to take out. So just let a little pressure go. That's gonna make it much easier to finish. And then just place it on. So now, both beads are sitting flush within the rim. That's when you know you're good. So it's always good to just finish putting the air in before you put it back on the bike. It just makes your life easier. So just put this on. Pull the lever. Pump up to 70 PSI. So it's always good to do a little bit less than the recommended PSI because you don't want to overfill it and pop it. I've done that too. Snap that back. You'll hear a little air come out, that's normal. Place your pump aside. So now you have a complete tire and tube on your rim. 
So now it's time to put the rim back on the bike. And all you do is just put it in. The toughest part, especially on an old bike like this, is making sure, there we go, get the on focus, making sure that those bolts sit flushly in the notch. Just like that. So you can see I'm just getting it lined up. It's tough to get a camera angle on this. So I'll put the camera down so I can finish this adequately. So now, you take your wrench and you just tighten both sides. You can start just by doing it by hand. You want to tighten both sides evenly. I also recommend getting a good wrench because this wrench is pretty crappy and it makes it difficult. So the reason why it's important to get the wheels sitting evenly on both, or the wheels screwed in evenly on both sides is that it can tilt the wheel to the left or right if one side is screwed in more than the other. So just a tip to make sure your wheel's always on straight. <laughs> 